Hello, this is the final chapter in our journey into the world of Pharaoh. It will complete the courses we have presented. It's important to understand that the hard part is over. Now you know the key aspects of Pharaoh. We've covered pretty much everything, except some software engineering concepts, like package dependency and continuous integration. You'll find them on www.faro.org. You will have learned almost all of the core libraries. There are others, but they are extensions, which have the same level of complexity. For these, you'll need to learn the specific libraries. I hope you see Faro as an immersive system. It allows you to constantly interact with objects, particularly by coding in the debugger. The debugger is a key to productivity, so make sure you use it. There's also another important aspect. If you use Faro for business, contact us if you need help. Faro is a community of people who do business in a concrete way. Faro is a young language that is evolving. Infrastructure is constantly improving, as in its compiler, tools, and libraries. Our community is also constantly growing. This slide shows Faro's midterm vision with a list of projects in development that will be realized in a year or two. Briefly, these include scripting syntax, an improved module system, integration with versioning systems, and integration with OSs. All these features will be completed within two years. Today, Faro is no longer a small team working in France. We have 70 regular contributors across the globe who improve Faro. This community works on numerous projects. We don't even know what they all are. Our message is that you can participate too. You can take on a project with other people. It's very rewarding on many levels. You can contribute to the system, and it's fun. I hope you enjoyed this journey and learned a lot. I hope Faro helps you to reflect on the future of programming. Everything is accessible in Faro. It allows you to do things you can't do elsewhere. But Faro is more than that. It's fun and elegant. It's simple and pure. Faro is fantastic for developers who want to program practical things. For teaching objects, it's tops.